Professor, I must ask you for a dance. You just get dancing, Professor. Hey, Teach! How about a dance? <sighs> hey, kid. Dad, you're back. Why aren't you in there having fun with the rest of those brats? Had too much of it. I didn't expect being a chaperone involved so much dancing. <sighs> ah, my poor feet. <laughs> Think you can manage one more, kid? Before your old man. Wow, Dad. I don't think I've ever seen you dance before. How did you get so good at it? I mean, you've got the footing and everything, Dad. Well, I used to. A long time ago. When I first joined the monastery. The Knights of Saros must not only be paragons on the battlefield, but of social graces as well, says Rhea. I didn't think much of it, until I met your mother. So many people. <laughs> she was too shy for the grand balls, always yearning to join from afar. One of those nights, I asked for a dance. Really? I'd be honored. You should have seen her smile as she took my hand. She was as graceful as she was beautiful. But it was her <laughs> joy for life that captured my heart. We kept on dancing since. When we lived in the moment. <laughs> joined by our vows. Till death do us part. And look towards the future. Hmm. I was thinking we can name them. Byla. <laughs> what do you think? But you stopped. After she passed away. <sighs> well, enough about me. How about you? You're also pretty good on your feet. Your brats had anything to do with it? Yeah, learn some moves when we prepare for the White Heron Cup. But, to be honest, I've always wanted to learn since I was little. I remember when the band stayed at the villages we helped, and they'd have celebration feasts for us. Everyone looked so happy, dancing the night away. But you always seemed like you wanted to be anywhere else but there. So I never asked you to teach me. Now that I know why, I'm glad I didn't. I don't want to make you sad. Kid. Hmm? When you never fussed for anything, I left it at that. But just because you've always been a good stoic kid, doesn't mean I have to dote on you. Taking you for granted wasn't right. I should have tried harder to make you happy. I don't say it as much as I should, or show it nearly enough, but I want you to know, you mean the world to me, Byleth. I know, Dad, but I get what you're saying. This dance, it's nice. I'm glad you asked me. Good. Let's do this more often, then. It'll be good practice for me. For the first dance on your wedding day. <laughs> I can already imagine you in a bridal dress. Dad, I think it's a little bit early to be thinking about that. <laughs> Suck it up, kid. I've got years of embarrassing you to catch up on. <laughs> Dad! Some say you can sense when the end is near, and that the goddess grants you the time until then to tie up loose ends, to make amends. Say goodbye. Did you know, Dad? Despite how it happened, you seemed to be at peace when you slipped away in my arms. <laughs> it's not fair, Dad. You promised more dances for me to look forward to. I didn't want her first to be our last.
هیچ آی لف I know the last thing your father wants is for you to get sick. All right. Then I'm staying with you until those tears are just right. Where's that handsome leader of yours? Oh, Captain Gerald? He should be sitting outside. Why isn't he living it up with the rest of y'all? Uh, he's not fond of the ruckus once the dancing starts, I'm afraid. Oh dear. And here I was hoping I could ask him to dance with me. Yeah, sorry about that, ma'am. Maybe he'll be up for it when the time is right. you at Garrick Mock. Wait, your hair. What's wrong? Dad, I don't have a lot of time before the ceremony starts. I know I shouldn't do this, but if I don't, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I just want the first chance of my wedding day to be with you. Dad. <sighs> To think that the first time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad yet. I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. It's alright, kiddo. It's alright. I pray you will be Watch us where we go And help us to be Place, guide us with your grace to a place. 